Phil Gabella, and you're listening to Flashcast by PDB. Now, let's talk about some great stuff. One of my favorite things, mindset. So, self-talk is the way we talk to ourselves in our minds, which can also influence our emotions, our behaviors, and our mindset. So in this Flashcast, I want to discuss the role of self-talk in our mindset and how we can change negative self-talk to positive self-talk, something that we all need help with in one way, shape, or form. And don't get me wrong, you never get it right. Even times when we think we're on a great track, negative thoughts will come into our mind. But it's the ability to switch that and move it to positive. I also want to identify some of the common limiting beliefs that people have and how we can overcome them. For again, I always talk about mindset is everything. It's the way we hire our teams. It's the way we operate. It's our brains that lead our bodies to do, to feel, to create, to generate, to succeed or fail. So mindset is the key. Now, so part one, the role of self-talk in our mindset. Our self-talk can affect our mindset by shaping our beliefs and attitudes about ourselves, about others and the world. Remember that negative self-talk can lead to feelings of anxiety, depression and low self-esteem. Things that we've all experienced, especially myself, I've gone through anxiety and when I break it down, it's because of the negative self-talk. And of course, you start to spiral. The negative thought enters your mind and you keep spiraling down, down and down and anxiety. And for me, this used to kick in at times, especially on a plane when my brain wanted to stop and relax, but my body wanted to keep going and my negative talk would keep going and therefore the anxiety would get greater. And often catching myself on a plane sitting next to somebody who'd be asking if I was a nervous flyer, (laughs) but I actually wasn't a nervous flyer. It was the fact that I would, um, the anxiety would start because my brain had a time to stop. My mind stopped, but my body wanted to keep going. And instead of switching from negative to positive thoughts, I would stay in that negative and the anxiety would get bigger and bigger and bigger. So this is something that we need to do. We need to understand that positive self-talk can increase our confidence. It can increase our motivation and, of course, will increase our resilience. Um, and breath work has a lot to do with that. The good news is that we can learn to control our self-talk and use it to improve our mindset. And, yes, we can. Now, it might sound stupid, but it's the – the way we talk to ourselves that matters. And you've heard this over and over and over. And of course, in the last 10 years, it's become bigger, bigger, bigger and more popular that we need to continue to talk to ourselves in a very positive manner if we want to have max impact and achieve great things in our personal lives. Again, mindset is everything and it is a choice. It is a choice to either be negative or it is a choice to be positive. Now, How to change negative self-talk to positive self-talk? Well, to change negative self-talk to positive self-talk, we need to become aware of our thoughts and the language we use in our self-talk. So keeping a diary is great. Um, When you have a negative thought, writing down what the thought is, maybe say the date, the the time and the thought, and going back and having a look. So awareness is step one. If we're not aware of the negative self-talk, we can't possibly move into that that positive self-talk. So we need to make sure that we are aware of the negative and tips around that is to keep a diary, keep a thought diary, a mindset diary, whatever works for you. Uh, For some people, it'll just be being aware consciously, but for others, they'll need to write it down and document it. Because once we do this, we can then challenge our negative thoughts and replace them with positive, more realistic thoughts. If we can actually keep a diary and dialogue when it's happening and understand when it is happening, then we have a better thought that we can actually challenge that and replace it with positive thoughts. And we can and we can do that if we're seeing it in front of it. For example, instead of thinking I'm not good enough, we can replace it with I'm doing the best I can and I will keep improving. Something I talk about all the time. Are we doing the best that we can at the time that it's happening with the resources that we have? And that's my go-to template. Anytime I've the negative talk comes in, it's am I doing the best that I can at the time that it's happening with the resources that I have? And that instantly makes me mindful, makes me aware and switches me from negative into positive self-talk. It's important to practice this. It's important to practice self-talk regularly to make it a habit. And therefore, if you make that a habit, it'll keep reinforcing positive beliefs and attitudes. Next part is common limiting beliefs and how to overcome them. Well, limiting beliefs are negative beliefs that hold us back from achieving our goals and fulfilling our potential. You cannot achieve your potential if your mindset 
is in that negative frame of mind. If you don't believe, you can't achieve. And I hate cliches and all the rest of it, as good as they sound at times, but it's so true. If you don't believe, you can't achieve. If you don't have a vision, you can't achieve. If you don't have a purpose, you won't achieve. It's not that you can't without a purpose, but you, you, you won't achieve the maximum result you possibly can. Remember that limiting beliefs are negative beliefs and that holds you back. So when those negative things come into your mind, keep aware that it is actually holding you back from achieving your goals and fulfilling your best potential. And as we say at the Coffee Commune and one of my personal mantras, tomorrow better than today. Am I being the best that I can be? You know, so commenting li- limiting beliefs include things like I'm not smart enough, I'm not good enough, I don't have enough experience, I'm not worthy of success, I don't deserve happiness. These are all limiting beliefs. Now, remember, your brain and your body are completely connected and your body doesn't know any different from what's real and what's not. Your body and all of its operational mechanisms will be focused on what the brain feeds it. Remember that. Your body will follow what your brain feeds it. So therefore, you need to feed your brain positive beliefs, positive thoughts, positive things so that it will overcome it. So get away from I'm not smart enough. Get away from I don't have enough experience. Get away from I'm not worthy of success. Get away from all these limiting negativity and turn them into different words such as I am happy where I am now. Tomorrow I will work harder. I have enough experience at the moment but want to be better tomorrow. I am worthy of success now and will continue to work on that in the future. And you can see how we're changing that dialogue, right? We need to make sure that we do this. Now, of course, you can seek support, you know, things as mentors, coaches, therapists, friends, groups to around you, to challenge you, to keep it. But they must be authentic. They can't tell you what you want to hear. They've got to tell you what you need to hear. Remember that. Major takeaway from this, not Don't surround yourself with people that tell you what you want to hear. Surround yourself with people that tell you what you need to hear. And I've met a lot of people with great potential that fail because of this. They only want to surround themselves with people that tell them how good they are. They want to tell people, they want to surround themselves with people that make them feel amazing all the time. And the people that actually hold them accountable, the people that tell them what they need to hear, they push out of their lives and that will limit their ability to achieve. So remember that it's important to replace the people in our lives that suck energy away and that are fake to us to replace people in our lives that tell us that are authentic, that are there with us in the good and the bad, but are telling us what we need to hear. That is the major purpose of friendship and friendship groups is to have great moments, good times, but share the good and the bad, the ugly, the pretty, the whole lot to be on a journey together, to understand each other and to have that emotional engagement with each other. That to me is the meaning of solid friendships. Now, in conclusion, self-talk plays a significant role in our mindset. We've, we've uncovered that. It can influence all of our emotions, behaviors, and beliefs. We've covered that. I've given you examples. We've got to get out of that negative to that positive. We've got to change negative self-talk to positive talk and overcoming limiting beliefs so we can achieve the best that we can. We can be better tomorrow than today, and we can achieve the goals that we never thought was possible. Remember, to practice positive self-talk regularly and seek support when you need it, especially to overcome any limiting beliefs so that you can be the best you can be, so you can reach your full potential. I hope you've taken some great key takeaways out of that. Mindset is power. Till next time, go be the best you can be. You've been listening to Phil DeBella, and this is Flashcast by PDB. PDB.